In this video we're going to discuss the immediate window and the locals window and the watch window which are tools to help us troubleshoot our code and do error handling and debugging. So first of all the immediate window you can view it by going to the view menu here and then clicking on the immediate window or you can press Control and G on your keyboard and the immediate window allows you to run code on the fly. You can just type question mark and then for example, I'm going to run a message box here. Uh, I would say I'm just trying the immediate window and I'm just going to close my brackets and press enter. And then you can see here, I'm going to get a message box pop up that says I'm just trying the immediate window. And don't worry about the message box. If you don't know what the message box is, we're going to explain it in detail in the future. But I'm just demonstrating the ability of the immediate window to let you or to allow you uh, to run code on the fly. The second window is the locals window. So you can view the locals window by going to the view menu here at the top and then clicking on locals window. So the locals window allows you to see uh, the names of your variables and the values and their types when you're running your macro step by step, for example. So this is useful in uh, troubleshooting and debugging your macro and we will see that in the future when we go into the error handling section. So uh, this is a very useful window for uh, troubleshooting and error handling. The third window is the watch window and you can view the watch window by going to the view menu here and then clicking on watch window. So the watch window allows you to monitor expressions or variables and an expression is basically it can be like a formula containing multiple variables so it allows you to monitor expressions not only uh, variables and you can see their value and their type and their context as well and we'll speak about that later and it also allows you to stop running your macro when your expression reaches a certain value so when it reaches the value of true or when it reaches one or zero so you can determine that and set that up on the watch window okay so this is also very useful in troubleshooting and debugging your code okay guys so that's it for the immediate and the locals and the watch windows thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one